Well, regarding what you asked me about the llama head, I have seen some drawings on the internet of someone who has an opinion against the discovery, and they give the example of how a llama head can be mutilated, right? The head of an alpaca and llama and say it resembles the skull of these short beings and all that. But I don't give it much importance either because, I mean, it seems kind of crazy to me, right? That way you can invent a lot of things and with all the ideas in the world that the person may have. Furthermore, there is something concrete in that drawing of the alpaca head of the skulls that I saw on the internet. The person said that the back of the occipital was the one in which they had made two large holes and they were the eyes and they transformed it into the front part. They transformed the occipital part of the llama into the front part of the face of these Nazca beings. It seems like a joke because if you look at the norm called lateral cranial norm, as we call it, radiographic, you look for the profile of the base of the skull where the cella torsica is and where the pituitary gland goes, which in these Nazca beings are more developed in proportion to their size than humans, which is... why they demonstrate quite important hormonal activity. Well, where is the cella tussica? Let's say that it cannot be created by turning a llama skull over and looking at it from the back to front on a llama skull because, well, it already looks like it was a joke. There are people who seem to me to be very bold and with the desire to want to stop things or want, let's say, to ruin serious research. They invent other things, but they do not realize that the hypothesis do not have the minimum scientific capacity to be even in opposition with some scientific support. Otherwise, it will just... Go away and see what happens, but I repeat again, when you see the profile x-ray of the ostental prudence, which is what I call the shortest of Nazca... And well, the cella tussica is where the pituitary gland goes. It is well developed and it cannot be that that part that I'm seeing, which would be the anterior of... The skull, which is the posterior of a llama, is a crazy thing. So those things, are, well, it is one of the many things, as I told you in the interview that I do not directly talk about those things because it is a lack of respect to the seriousness of science.